What's good, everybody? My name is J Rod. If you're new to my channel, I am your humble guide to the Dominican Republic. So, if you want to know stuff about traveling to the Dominican Republic, then you are in the right place. All right, so today we're going to be talking about what to do when you get to the airport in the Dominican Republic because a thought just occurred to me. It's so much content on the computer about, you know, what to do when you're in the country or like the first thing you do when you get to the country. But there ain't no content about what you do when you're in the airport. And to me, I feel like that's the most important thing. Actually, that's the first thing you need to know is how to navigate the airport. And that can be a little bit confusing, especially for the people who have never traveled out the country before. I have a lot of people who've been messaging me saying that they're going to be traveling to the DR this summer for their first time. It's going to be the first time out the country. So, you know, I want them to be able to know what to do, because believe it or not, um, before I started traveling international, you know, solo by myself, that actually used to be the thing that I had the most anxiety about. It wasn't being in a foreign country. It was trying to get through the airport. I was like, bro, how do I navigate through the airport and stuff? But after today's video, I'll explain everything. And then once you do it once, you'll be a pro at it. All right. So we're going to begin with the first step. All right, so this first step I had already explained in another video, things you need to know before traveling to the Dominican Republic. I'm gonna leave the link right there. That's another video you need to watch if you're brand new to traveling to the DR. But um, in this first step, the first thing I talked about is having a pin, okay? So you do need a pin because you're gonna have to fill out your entry forms to enter in the country. So on the plane, the flight attendants are gonna give you two forms, okay? There's a white form and there's a blue form. The blue form is for the people who are visiting and then the white form is for the people who are natives to the country, okay? You're gonna be filling out the blue form and the reason why I say bring a pin is because the flight attendants, they don't like giving out pins because people don't give them back. So always have a pin with you um, when you're on the plane on your way to the DR or any international flight, all right? On this blue form, it's gonna ask you a few things that you need to know, all right? It's gonna ask for your name, it's gonna ask for your passport number, your ID number, um, the address of the place that you're gonna be staying in, how long you're gonna be there, the reason for being there, I think your address in the United States, and like a couple of more other questions, okay? So with this form, you're gonna fill out all this information on the airplane. The easiest and fastest way around this, and this is what I highly recommend, but it's to take a picture of your passport, your ID, and have like your address and all that stuff, have that like in a note section in your phone, so that way you don't have to fumble around your bag or pull out your wallet and try to like, write this stuff down. To me, I just feel like it's more convenient to have a picture of all this stuff on your phone so that way, you know, you just scroll to the picture and then you just copy down all the information you need. So yeah, picture your passport, picture your ID, the address of the place that you're gonna be staying and how many days. You need to already have that stuff written down on your phone so you can just do it real quick. Usually the flight attendants bring these forms around um, like 20 minutes before the plane land. So yes, you will be filling out the blue paper, not the white one, the blue one, all right? Now the reason why I recommend you to do this on the airplane and not when you get to the airport is because the immigration line at the airport is super, super, super packed, okay? And if this is your first time in the DR, I don't know if you know this, but things kind of move a little slow, all right? So um, Dominican Republic, they kind of got their own little time. So be expected for things to be a little bit laid back and a little bit more chill. So you're gonna have to kind of be patient. So that's why I say, as soon as you get off the plane, it's best that you go straight to that immigration line. And when you're booking your flight, if you pick a seat that's closer to the front, that'll actually help you get to the line quicker because if you're in the back of the plane, then you're gonna have to wait for everybody to unload their stuff and then you're gonna be the last one walking into that line. So. The closer you are to the front of the plane, the better in my opinion. And um, fill out that form, fill out that form on the airplanes. So when you get off the plane, you're gonna walk to the first immigration line. They got two separate sections. They got a line for people who have dual citizenship. Those people just walk straight in the country. I'd be jealous about them. And then you got the line for all the other people, okay? Ignore all the little places that are trying to get you to exchange the money. That's a big mistake, okay, that a lot of people do. Don't exchange your money in the airport. That's actually gonna be one of the first things you see when you get off the plane because they have them right there because they know you know a lot of tours you know they want to have pesos and stuff don't do it at the airport because you're not going to get a good rate all right so you're going to get to the customs line when you get into the customs line when you get to the very front of it there's going to be a yellow line that you wait behind okay so when a desk becomes available they're going to call you to go to that desk and you're going to walk over there with your passport and your blue form so the people, they're going to ask you a couple of questions. Now, normally they never ask me questions because a lot of them assume that I'm from there or they feel like I got like parents that are from here or something like that. So they don't ever really be asking. But if they do, they'll normally just ask like, you know, where you're going to be staying at, how long you're going to be there, stuff like that. It's just very simple stuff. They're going to scan your fingerprints. All right. So once you get through that phase, you're going to go to baggage claim. OK, so um, you're going to get your bag. And after you get your baggage claim, you're gonna have to go through another little security checkpoint and you're gonna have to put your bags like through a conveyor belt. So if you got like a book bag or something, you know, they're gonna make you take that off. 
and put that through the conveyor belt. They're going to go through that security checkpoint. And then you're going to go through one more last security checkpoint. Okay. And then at this security checkpoint, they're going to kind of ask you the same thing, you know, how long are you going to be here? Who are you trying to see? What is your purpose being here? Blah, 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 all this stuff. If you're American, they really don't be giving you a hard time. They usually just let you go through. They just have to ask to put stuff in their system. But yeah, if you're American, you just, or anybody from like Europe, I don't know, Canada, Europe, whatever, they just let you in. It ain't, it ain't no big deal. All right, so once you get through all of that, you have officially survived the hardest part, or I guess the most confusing part. I say confusing because, I mean, the first time I did it, hell, I didn't know what I was doing the first time. So, you know, I say confusing because it, be, it can it can be confusing if you've never done it before, all right? So um, you finally got through that part. Now it's just a matter of you getting to your destination, okay? So so when you walk through the hallway, they got all the little places. For the people who want to rent a car, this is where you'll go rent your car. So they got different companies. You'll do it right there at the airport, okay? And then you also have the main airport. And um, this is where you walk out and you see all the people waiting for you and all this stuff and the taxi drivers. All right, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about transportation and um get into your destination because that's the next step so once you get past all that like down the little runway or i like to call it the red carpet where you just be walking down there everybody be staring at you on both sides you be kind of feeling yourself now nah, let me stop playing all right but anyways <laughs> so you're gonna get off the red carpet red carpet all right you're gonna be seeing these guys with taxi signs okay do not take a taxi if you do not have to take one okay and the reason why i say this is because the taxi drivers they like to overcharge people and overprice you okay so my three recommendations are call an uber have somebody you know come and pick you up that's normally what i do because i got people down there so they just pick me up or i can set you up with somebody to come and pick you up so if you are coming to the dominican republic and you need somebody to pick you up in the airport and you don't want to take a taxi all right, I can set you up with somebody. All you got to do, just give me like a week in advance or a couple of days in advance. Don't do it the night before because, you know, I want to make sure that their schedule is clear so they can pick you up. You know, I got a team of people down there that are willing to do that. So just let me know. You can hit me up on my email or you can hit me up on Instagram. I'll leave my contact info down below. So, yeah, like I said, just give me a week in advance or at least, you know, three or four days just so I can let them know ahead of time. You know, I can set that up for you. If you're going to do the Uber option, you do need to have internet service. So, um, they do have Wi-Fi in the airport, but I'm not for sure 100% how strong the Wi-Fi is out in like the public area. So this is why you're going to need to go to the cell phone store. So um, ask somebody to direct you to a cell phone store so that way you can buy the service. Um, now, I said in the previous video that I told you how to go watch. You haven't seen it already, but I talked about you know, purchasing internet service in the Dominican Republic. I like to get the little portable Wi-Fi box. You know, that way I have high-speed internet no matter where I am on the island. And uh, I can connect multiple devices to it, like my laptop or whatever, or other people who you with, like you traveling with somebody else and y'all want to share internet, you know, get you the little mobile hotspot. And um, I paid like $30 for it. And then the recharge the internet is really cheap. It's only a couple of dollars. But um, so I like to go to Claro. Claro, that's um, one of the service providers down there. That's like the best internet service, Claro. So um, tell somebody to direct you to the cell phone store so that way you can be able to do that. Now, if you are coming in on a nighttime flight, it's not guaranteed that the um, cell phone stores are open. So that's why I recommend, if this is gonna be your first time traveling to the Dominican Republic, try to have your flight in the daytime because that way like the shops and stuff are still open. Because if you come at nighttime, a lot of this stuff's gonna be closed. So, and you will have to get a taxi at that point. If you do end up taking a taxi, um, most taxis, they do take American US dollars. So if you're worried about not having pesos immediately, when you um, get into the country, they will take American dollars at the airport. Now, once you get into the city, that's when you're gonna need to um, convert your money over to pesos. And I like to go to Western Union or Caribe Express. Those are like the two places I go. I like Western Union better. If you are worried about, you know, having only US dollars when you get there to pay the taxi, it's perfectly fine. Like they'll be able to take that. Now, let's just say you wanted to have like a little pocket money or a couple of pesos to get you started when going into the country, but you don't want to exchange your money at the airport. So what you can do is you can go to an ATM. So they got many ATMs in the airport. So what you'll do, this is like after you go through, you know, the security and all that stuff. When you out to like the public area, um, you'll just find an ATM. You have to look at the top of the ATM to find the symbol of your card to see if it's compatible. Most of the ATMs down there take American cards, okay? Uh, if you got like a Visa, if you got American Express or whatever, you know, you just gotta make sure the ATM you're going to, it has a symbol at the top of it. So um, you can withdraw money. You do have to pay like a little small service fee, but that's with any ATM, if you're doing like any international withdrawals or whatever, if you don't have a bank with that um, 
you know, ATM that obviously you're gonna have to pay like a small little fee, but this is just a way for you to have pesos when you get to the country if you don't wanna like go through the airport to exchange your money. Cause if you're in the airport exchanging your money, they're gonna rip you off. So yeah, this is just a little tip for people who need a little bit of starter money when coming into the country. All right, now the last tip I wanna talk about is when you are leaving the Dominican Republic. So I gave you all the tips you need for entering the Dominican Republic, like when you're at the airport. Now let's talk about when you're leaving the Dominican Republic. So the first thing, you need to get to the airport extremely early. Now, the reason why I say this is because, once again, Dominican Republic be on the DR time. Okay, things move a little bit slow. And sometimes I kind of underestimate how traffic is, especially if you flying out of Santo Domingo, because, man, the traffic in Santo Domingo is crazy. So you need to at least give yourself at least a clean hour to leave your house, man. At least give yourself, um, even if it says on the GPS 30 minutes, I would say give yourself at least an hour a traveling time because that traffic it could be monstrous man and especially if you out on the west side i was staying in the west side santo domingo oeste and bro my friend we was like flying to the airport man he was flooring it like 100 miles per hour i swear to god like we could have gotten a rake but he was flooring it all the way to the airport 100 miles per hour we actually got pulled over and that was a crazy vlog i need to go watch that okay but um yeah we was just going through every single red light whatever because the traffic was that crazy so give yourself at least a good hour of traveling time to get to the airport and of course you want to arrive to the airport at least you know two or three hours early if you're going to be traveling during the holidays you really need to be there super early okay um when i was there this past december for christmas bro that airport was super packed man super super packed so um when you go to the airport when you're leaving of course you're gonna go to the check-in desk and then you're gonna have to go through this other line where um after you get your ticket or whatever you're gonna go through this other line where they just verify who you are on your passport and then that's when you're gonna go through security all right once you go through security you know you go through the little scanner whatever all that stuff then you're gonna have to fill out another form now this is the tip all right so you know how i told you that there's a blue form that you gotta fill out when you're entering the country well you're gonna have to fill out that same form again when you're leaving the country so so what i recommend you to do is when you're entering the country um on the plane ask the flight attendant for two forms if they start tripping and be like oh no i can only give you one then what you can do is um, when you enter the country there's a little table i was telling you about um, so you can go to that table and you can just grab you another form and that's the form that you're going to take to your hotel and you can fill it out. So that way, when you're leaving the Dominican Republic, you don't got to go to that table to um, fill out that piece of paper. You can already have it filled out and then you can just go straight to the line because after you go through security, they're going to make you fill out that blue form again. So um, you can already do that at your hotel. That's why I say grab two blue forms, one for when you're entering the country and another one for when you're leaving the country because you are going to have to stand in another line. And once again the line can kind of move slow and if you ain't trying to miss your flight then you know you need to have all that stuff together because i don't know about you man but i've already been burnt before because i've missed the flight okay my dumb ass overslept and i made a video about that so <laughs> thank goodness i had insurance so you know i didn't have to pay anything i bought insurance on my flight so you know they was able to give me another one to me it just seems like time is never on my side for airports okay i just always feel like i'm always making it at the last minute so that's why i'm telling you guys do not be like me please get there early, okay? I've gotten better at it. I've actually gotten better, okay? Um, so, you know, get there, you know, two or three hours early. Give yourself at least an hour of driving time to get to the airport and, um, you know, have all your documents and stuff. Have that paper already filled out. So that way you can just hop in line and you already have your stuff. But yeah, so I hope that this helps for you guys who are traveling to the Dominican Republic um, when you get to the airport. Hopefully that just relieves like the confusion or the stress. And if you got any more questions, you know where to hit me up at. Um, jrod 600 instagram and you got my email down below but um yeah i'm excited for you all i hope that you enjoy your travels to the dominican republic and stay safe out there all right catch me in my next video all right peace